G'day guys, M and Tem here. Today we're going to learn about alpha texturing. Now what alpha texturing is, is pretty much putting a texture, whether it be glass or a leaf or something else, and you want to erase the background on the actual plane. There is a certain technique to do this. It did take a lot of research, but I finally know how to do it. So just delete your scene, leave the plane there, shift A, plane, and rotate it to the side. And extrude it down, then extrude it there so it looks like a triangle. Now I want you to press new and call this grass. I'll let you to catch up. <clears throat> so just move that to the bottom, split a new window here. Press a button and press UV, exit out of the render result, and unwrap it. In your material editor, material or nodes editor, shift A, texture, and image texture. Can you go up to the diffuse and open up your image here? Material, and there we are, there it is. Now, for some reason, it's it, it goes uh, upside down in material, but in render, it uh, goes the right way. So, as you can see here, the um, image is black, and we don't want that at all. So, how do we erase this black? Well, it's very simple. So, now, what we have here is your diffuse and your image. Well we need to add a few more stuff so first let's add a go to press shift A texture and go no not shift A shader mix texture and put that in between um, the surface and the fuse and this should be in shader 2. Now go to shift A texture image but this time I want you to load all right, before we do that, once you've got your image texture node there, you should go to Shift A, uh, Shader, Transparent, and connect your image texture and put that there. So it should look like this. Now, to your image node, I want you to go to your, go to your image node, open up your alpha map. Now the image that you have to put on, the uh, black and white, the, the stuff that you're erasing has to be black. No, the stuff that you want to erase has to be white. And the stuff you want to stay needs to be black. And um, yeah. I just made a quick little mistake. It's not mix shader. Press shift A, shader, and go to add shader instead. And just quickly connect these two up. We now have your alpha texture as you can see is completely see-through and the image that you have to put on so now let's uh, just uh, um, duplicate this don't do it too much I'll tell you why you can't do it too much just make a little field just duplicate them and yep a few more around here a little bit just so you can get a just fill the uh, scene up okay now we want to make the uh, this is completely white we want to make that atmosphere. Go to your atmosphere. Um, you can set up a, um, a, uh, a sky texture. That looks better. Set the power a bit more up, turbulence a bit more up. And once you have uh, feel confident with that, go to your render settings. Make a quick render. Now, um, for the render, 
I would I would choose um, to have the full effect. If you don't have enough bounces, this is what happens if you don't have enough bounces. So if you put this to like a uh, three, you could put this to two and two. It will be very black and the paths won't be able to calculate. See, look at all this black here. You want to have them as much passes as you want with a uh, grass rendering. or So I'll put it to full global illumination. Put the glossy to zero because there's no glossy passes that are being placed here. Transparent, yet yeah, put them into three. Uh, put this to about, uh, I don't know, 4 billion, million, and put it to a low resolution. Well, you can put it to a high, I'm putting it to low because this is for a tutorial purposes. And render it out. Now, as you can see, the light bounces is hitting off the, um, the planes and it's erasing the alpha texture. So, as you can see, there are these black plane shadows here but over time within the next a thousand or so passes it will all disappear because the light would have gone through the transparency and the passes is going uh, very strong uh, pretty fast as you can see there's some here don't get too frightened if they don't disappear because bear in mind that this is going at this is going like not slow but normal pace in your render viewport it's um, accelerated a lot so just pause that that was at 600 passes if I were to go here and render it out see how fast this is going and as you can see it's sucking all of the it's going into the grass field because due to the bounces and over time the blackness will disappear now the reason why this blackness is hard to get rid of is due to a few reasons one um, this is pre-alpha software two um, it ha doesn't handle um, alpha textures um, as better as other ones such as Octane Octane does magnificent it can just it's magnificent with alpha textures and three all of your geometry is clumped up, is too much clumped up um, together and this can be a big problem because the blackness will take a long time to calculate and get rid of so if I were to just interrupt it for a sec uh, so as you can see the blackness is happening where all of these are so if I were to move this one here move this here, move this here uh, move this one here A little bit of blackness is still there in the middle. Move this here, move this there. See, the blackness goes. It, it just You can't have your geometry bunched up together. Well, you should, but for now you can't. Try and randomize it a bit. And that looks, that's a pretty good grass render right there. So I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully this technique will evolve and be more efficient. This is a quick dirty way of doing it. I will stress again it is pre-alpha software and hopefully I will do in my next tutorial I'll be going through a, um, a proper transluence hack-ish. Never mind. Anyway, enjoy.